though, Suzanne. I mean, you've, you've mentioned some highlights there of, of Liz Truss, potentially, but I wondered what you make of Rishi Sunak's proposals to amend the Equality Act that we were discussing on this show earlier. Yeah. I mean, it absolutely does need uh, amending. I mean, one of the things that always struck me is about the Act is that it actually is supposed to be about um, helping uh, minority communities. But actually what it's done, I think, has been incredibly divisive because it has subdivided every community into racial, religious, cultural and sexual sectors. So achieving, in a sense, the exact opposite of what it set out to do. I think it underlines differences and threatens unity. The other issue I've always had with it is that I think it can cause us to turn a blind eye to inexcusable and discriminatory behaviour. Behavior. I think we've seen that all too clearly in uh, the Pakistani Muslim grooming gang scandals that we, we've had. Um, there's no doubt fear of being tarred racist was a part of that. Um, but, but not just that. That. I mean, look at the way in which women are treated in many protected communities. So, for example, I think the figures for domestic violence are that one in four women experiences domestic violence in their lifetime, 25%. In the traveller community, that goes up to 81%. But there's a protected community that we're supposed to um, have deep respect for and to give special privileges to. Um, again, you know, look at the numbers of women in this country who are still suffering female genital mutilation. Mm. Arguably, the Equality Act has helped to shield all this. Um, the other it's issue true. I have with it is, is really do minority communities want to be seen as different, hard to reach, in need Suzanne, of support? I, not I've at just all. Got